the early 1920s, a man by the name of Ornatia was manufacturing doors and windows for his own use, as well as to sell to other builders. He traded as the Marley Joinery Works. In 1923, due to a recent shortage of clear roofing tiles, Mr. Ashia purchased a Wingert press. This allowed him to make concrete roofing tiles out of sand and cement. The company began marketing these tiles in 1924 and then changed its name to the Marley Tile Works. In the 1950s, Marley opened up three new roofing tile factories, one of these being stationed in Ebchester. This factory closed its doors for good in 1998, but it still stands there today. We are going to take a look at what remains. Good afternoon everyone. I hope everyone is having a glorious day. The weather here is mm, pristine and after the few days we've had recently this is very much well welcomed. Um, so yeah we're just on our way to the factory now. Um, it's gonna take about an hour and ten to get there um, from where I am at the moment. So yeah, luckily it's quite a nice walk over there and um, I'll get some shots of the mission on the way. Um, so yeah, I'll check in again with you soon. Now everyone, I want you to be, um, meet an old friend of mine. Come on, come on. This is Hilda. Come on, come say hello. She's... A wee donkey, and she's absolutely lovely, and yeah, hello, hello. Boy! He listens to no one. Man does what he wants. You can tell we've been absolutely battered by storms here. <laughs> There's absolutely loads of trees down around here. Not too far away now. We've got about 15 minutes of walking maybe. And then we should be, uh, should be hot on our heels. Right, who's ready to watch me fucking shit it here, fall into the river? Hey, say it. Good boy. Good boy. Mate, look at that face. Can't help but give him another. Boop. How oh, a lad. Woo. Right. I believe we have landed at our destination. We should just be about to come up across a big old slag heap. We just need to scale it. Big old heap of slags. There we go. Big slag heap. Or whatever the hell it is. And you can just see through here. Gives you almost a uh, Apocalyptic vibes just coming across the big car park. There we have it. Pretty sketchy, man, but also pretty cool. Reminder of the past. It's pretty windy, like. I was wanting to get the drone up. You know what? We'll, we'll do it. Yellow. Fuck it. Oh, mate, that is windy. Oh, fucking hell. No, no pain, no gain. Come on, it's coming out. 
It's coming out, boys. It's coming out. It's no surprise to anyone that this is a very unsafe site, but due to the state it was left in, it's also rife with scrap metal. Because of this, the council asked a member of the community who carries out various pieces of work to weld the gates closed, rather than using the padlock, which clearly was failing as it kept getting cut off. Anyway, as he's finishing up the welding, um, a couple of fellas come round the corner kicking off, complaining that he'd um, just welded them inside. And then um, the guy who welded the gates closed, he said, don't worry, don't worry, there's a, there's a way out through the forest around the back, you can get out that way. And then they turn around and they go, it's not us we're asked about, it's the van we've got around the back. <laughs> yeah. Not too sure what came of that, but there's no van there anymore, so I, I guess I must have got out. But yeah, just a fun little, fun little story for you. Right, let's uh, get ourselves inside and uh, take a look. One thing I will say, the art that people come here uh, to do up, it's fucking awesome, yo. <laughs> anyway. Spooky, spooky like. It's crazy that a place that was once a full working factory and this is how it ends. <laughs> The old boards and that. Look at the font on that, mate. Look at that font. What's that shit? <laughs> That's cool, man. Look at that, bro. Incredible. Oh, mate. There we go. The piece of resistance. Love it. Yeah, this is obviously the, well, a part of the factory portion of it. I think we've got the offices just, whoa. Look at these, man. Whoever does these must come, away, come up a lot because every time I come up, there's, there's new pieces all over the place. And, uh, they're getting better and better, so <laughs> whoever it is doing them up. Good on you, mate. Good work. Fucking class. Let's take a look down here. Whoa. I wonder what these were. It almost looks like they would have had massive doors that touched them. I wonder if there was like, uh, if these were like the, uh, this might sound off, but like the, the furnaces for actually making the tiles and that. I'm scared I'm going to look down one of these and there's just going to be a, some homeless dude just chilling there. <laughs> anyway, we're back here. We get in here. So they're being like the old, 
reception office. So I'm guessing this is Mara office esque portion. <laughs> Look at the date on that. <laughs> Nineteen seventy eight. Jeez. What's that? Hey. Forty. Forty two? Forty two years ago? Hello? Ooh. Ooh, that's ominous and scary. I'm not going in there. Let's leave. Nice tets. Look at this. It's pretty cool, man. I don't know what the fuck that was for. Oh my lord. Reckon we can uh, scrape up a few parts for the old PC. Mate, whack it on Facebook buying so used spares and repairs. Oh it's, uh, can he sketch it like it's got to be said? Take a look in here. Whoa. Look at that, bro. Look at how good that is. That's brilliant. Get this shit out of me, bud. Fuck. Quiet, yo. Look at that. I don't quite know what's going on there, but it looks cool.
Boy, boy, don't go in there. It looks to be completely flooded in there. Buddy, come here, come here, you, oh, you dare boy. Does what he wants, mate. Does what he wants. It's just... Oy. If this place here was in a video game, it would be radioactive, mate. 100%. 100%. It's weird this, it almost looks like it's... <laughs> this bit of the roof has just been put up. Fun fact, there was a, there was actually an illegal rave cut off here before it happened. Um, there were people setting up loads of speakers and stuff. And from what I heard, the police and that were literally like hiding in the trees, waiting for, waiting for them to start getting everything set up and that. Then um, when people showed up, they, uh, they jumped straight on it and got it all shut down. <laughs> The jammy bastards. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It's a cool place for a rave, but equally as unsafe in terms of cool, I would say. Don't even know how places still standing after the storms have been having. Crazy, proper crazy. Now, I wanna look at this this has caught my attention a few times like who is Jean it almost looks like a memorial doesn't it a memorial now with a cock on it but you know times change I guess <laughs> e man yeah But yeah, it's, uh, I don't think the, the, there are any plans in motion to knock it down yet, but there are certainly plans of um, building a very large amount of houses on this land. And I know those plans are definitely in motion. So this place, this place's days are certainly numbered. <laughs> oh, numbered again, should I say. It's already been ditched and abandoned once but it's either gonna blow it the fuck up or bulldoze it or whatever the whatever they're gonna do um but yeah it's just fun to come up have a look around as i say there's always new pieces of graffiti art done it's uh like our ever-changing experience <laughs> uh, 
Just the car park is massive. It is huge. Ah, uh, but this wasn't actually a car park, or some of it may have been, but I bet you can still still see like the the outline on the on the ground of I'm guessing where they would probably actually store the tiles and that he is off skis. Um but yeah. I remember when we first basically found out this place was here. My ma was on a walk with that doggo. And she got lost. I don't know how she got this lost. She got lost and ended up at the back of the car park, the way we came in. Um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I, I set out to find this this place that she'd told me about because she said she came up and just had a had a little walk about. And I was like, I need to find this place. I need to find it. <laughs> sure enough, we did. We did. But yeah, I think I'm gonna get. I'll send the drone up now and get all of the drone shots we want. The wind has came right down. The wind has chilled the absolute fuck out. So uh Yeah, we'll send uh we'll send the Mavic 2 up again. Mavic 2 air, should I say. Don't forget the air, the air is very important. What am I chatting? Anyway, fucking So anyway, my friends, there we have it. Marley Tiles. Who knows how long it's got left. <laughs> yeah. If you got through this far of the video, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'd, li I'd like this to be my thing, you know, like going to exquisite places, um, just recording them, like they've not been shown before. Um, I've had a look quick look on the internet and I can see loads of well a few pictures of this place but no one's actually went in with a with a camera and properly videoed everything so um yeah anyway i'm gonna get my ass back home and start editing because holy shit i have a lot of video files from this um so yeah thanks for watching peace